fitness disciplines. So what do you think about when you think about the phrase disciplines? I mean, sometimes it almost sounds kind of harsh, maybe a little scary. Disciplines, oh, I don't want to stick to a bunch of disciplines. It sounds like it's really challenging. But one of my, my mentor, that's he's passed away now, but he used to say that discipline weighs ounces and regret weighs tons. So when I think about that, I think about, especially when it comes to fitness and finances, but let's just look at fitness right now. So with fitness, the disciplines of fitness, right? The day-to-day -day exercising, the nutrition, the recovery, the supplementation, the mindset, these disciplines, these daily disciplines in the big picture of things, weigh ounces. They're really light. I just got through working out, and I've trained probably 10 people today. And almost everybody, when they left, and even me, when I got done, you just, you feel great. You know, you have a good workout, and your body just creates these hormones and stuff, and it just really helps you feel really good. It just weigh, And it's just, you know, you think about it like, Oh, sometimes I know that maybe it seems overwhelming if you're thinking about a whole exercise program and it just seems like it's just so much to do, like a lot of things to do. And But it's just really just a handful of things. It's just moving your body, exercising, eating healthy, getting your rest, supplementing intelligently, and working on our mindset. Those are what I consider the disciplines of fitness. So you might want to write that down just so you can really be aware of it. That what are the disciplines of fitness? See if you can say them out loud to yourself. Type them in the chat if you, if you know them. That it's exercise, nutrition, recovery, supplementation, and mindset. So those are the disciplines. So that's my goal. So and this is just kind of a, this is not really a tutorial of what to do, but it's more, this fitness blog is and finance blog is more of a, just kind of like, this is what I'm doing, and I'm kind of, I'm just journaling, journaling it, journaling, journaling it along the way, and sharing with it. You know, in life, we have people that's ahead of us. I have people that's ahead of me, fitness-wise, and I have people that's behind me, finance, people ahead and behind but as we're going up, as I'm going up the fitness chain, I'm, I'm sharing things with you, pull you along. Right. So, and that's, that's really, I'm just sharing you what I'm doing, and then you can, you can take with it from me one. I had this one client who used to say, yeah, like, his brain was like a, like a sponge, and that he would take in ideas of all sorts, and then he would use what applies to him. So that's something to think about. So these are just ideas, you know, Disciplines of fitness, training, nutrition, recovery, supplementation, and mindset. That's what I teach in my, in, my, in my fitness coaching. And speaking of that, I'm looking to work with people that are, um, that's really motivated. I'm talking maybe weight loss is my specialty. I'm really, if you're watching this and you're over 100 pounds over your desired weight and you really want to make a change, you are who I really want to reach out to because I can help you. I can walk with you hand by hand. I can get you to that desired weight and goal. And we can, you can be healthy and, and stave off diabetes and all kind, of, all kind of problems related to overweight, related to diseases. So if you find yourself in that position or if you know someone in that position, just have them reach out to me. That's my specialty. That's what I do. Our first step is a complimentary consultation. This is where I speak to you on the phone or Zoom, and we, we get to know each other, and I can share with you how I can help you. If you want a, a complimentary three-week basic, uh, basic challenge, if you go to fit.fitness, F-I-T.fitness, there's a link right on the front page. It says sign up for the free 21-day Fitness Academy Challenge. I'm just emailing you every day for 21 days. Some a mental tip that'll just take you from you know from one step. It'll help you make progress because that is 
The name of this fitness game is progress. It's not perfection. It's, it's progress. So remember that. It's that your fitness disciplines. The fitness disciplines, so what are they? Speak out. Write them in, write them in the chat if you don't mind, if you want to participate. It's training, nutrition, recovery, supplementation, and mindset. All right. I'll be back. About ready to scarf down meal number two. Got about 150 grams of carbs with about 150 grams of protein, which is more than usual for me. But I'm just trying to beef it up as it is and look forward to eating this meal. I'm so grateful for this. I'm so thankful for this meal. So thankful to be able to eat like this. Mm. So it's Thursday night uh, towards the end of the week, which is... I have one more week where all the major banks are open, all the major major trading is going to be finished within the next 24 hours, although you can trade Bitcoin any time, 24 hours a day, but uh, most of the banks have hours, like our U.S. banks, they're all closed, mostly closed on the weekend, right? Well, it's kind of the same thing around the world. But this is where we have, we have Bitcoin trapped inside of a zone, and for scalp trading purposes, waiting to see which way it decides to break out, uh, up or down. Well, to me, we'll confirm the uh, an idea about this. This is on the 15-minute time frame. And so we're getting set up, waiting to see what happens. And I'll bring you back with another update. If you're interested in learning how to invest and trade in digital assets, then that's what the academy is all about. A lot of times people don't really even understand the potential, what you can do, what types of how you can profit. And there's lots of ways to make money inside of this industry. But I feel like you have to kind of learn what they are. And that does take a little bit of study, just a little bit. But that's what the academy is for. It wouldn't be so popular if it was just so easy. We have over 100 different instructors in our academy, and they have live classes going on every day of the week, and they have like a basic like like learn from scratch type structure on learning how to do trading exchanges and even futures and stuff like that. And but every day they have live teachers. They go live and they teach. Um, how to how to make the most of it and then you can pick and choose what works best for you so if you're interested in finding out more about the academy and how we can collaborate and work together and you know we can you and i we can you know, learn how to master these markets together and just collaborate together then reach out to me about the academy if you have any questions there is a link inside of the description if you're open to it um, but if you have any questions about uh, there's actually more than one academy in the I am Academy. They have seven different academies. Um, I belong to two. So, but if you have any questions about it, I'm happy to, to talk to you about it. So just reach out to me. My number will be inside the description of the video. But if you're interested in joining, uh, the two popular uh, ones for academies for digital assets are the FRX, or you know, which is digital assets. Oh, I'm sorry, the D DCX, which is digital assets. And then there's an FRX, which stands for Forex, like other currencies. And that is so cool to learn about and amazing how to learn about other countries' currencies. You know, the, the Europe, the, you know, what they trade in Australia and, and China, the, all there in Japan, all these different currencies. It's, a, it's really fascinating. So, but that's how we learn. We learn and we get better, right? So if you're interested in collaborating about it, please let me know. Let it reach out to me. Let's collaborate. Bye for now. The Zika Assessment, week 40, 2023. Yesterday did the hamstrings and calves. Uh, today did the back.
This is my challenge side I'm working on here. My left side currently is, I need to, I'm bringing it up towards my right side. It's the current weakest link. It's part of the journey, part of the struggle. part of the back we worked on today. Alright, be back for a final review. Goals with deadlines. So here we are. It's Thursday night right now my time. Uh, we're on week 40 of 52 in the year. It's 2023. That's how I'm tracking my goals. So goals with deadlines. I thrive off of goals with deadlines. So whatever it is that I'm working on, okay. So with your fitness and your finance, if you're following this and wanting to do better, I'm just basically sharing with you what I'm doing. I'm not telling you to do something I'm not doing. I'm just basically sharing what I'm doing. And if it works for you, great. If it doesn't, that's fine too. Um, I encourage you to just take what you can from this, and maybe you, maybe you'll get that one thing that just really triggers with you. For example, uh, goals with deadlines. I just so make sure I'm clear in my communications. I love doing like right now is 2023. It's Thursday night. It's we're completing week 40, right? So to me, in my world. Um, Friday night, which is tomorrow night, when the first three stars arrive in the sky, that is the end of my work week, right? Now, my background is, is not Jewish, but I love, um, I love that that's how they do their week, right? So, Friday night, that's, and then the next day is the Sabbath, right? So, I, I am Christian, but I, I blend my habits between those... I, I love that habit, so I like to take Saturday as a, not really just rest day, it is a rest day, but more of a reflection day, give thanks day and reflection, right? But the idea, what I'm telling you right now about goals with deadline is tomorrow, I have one more day, about 24 hours before my week is over, and then I'm done, so it's like, did I get this done, did I get that done? There were several things that this week that I didn't get done, that I wanted to get done, and that's no way it's going to happen now. For example, on the fitness side, um, I'm rehabilitating my left side, and one of my goals uh, is to take actions, is to get in more swimming. I love the idea of swimming and moving the legs like that. It's just, I feel like it's going to be really good, and I haven't taken action on it yet. But I'm gearing up for it. I feel like next week is going to be the week, maybe I can even go Saturday and Sunday, and then, so my goal is to get three sessions of that a week, but I didn't do that last week, that's one thing that didn't happen. So that's a, when I work with my clients, I review the weekly challenges and the weekly victories, right? So we haven't completed the week yet, but I'm kind of summarizing because it is the night before the last day and I want to go out strong, right? So. Um, with my fitness side, I have done a lot of, I do have some victories. My workouts have been better, my eating's been better, my sleeping's been so-so. A couple nights there I got shorted on, on the hours. But, um, so, I'd say maybe a 7 out of 1 to 10. Supplements, I'm doing a little better in my supplement category. Mindset, I'm doing better in the mindset category. So, so there is progress there. I'd say, um... So with the fitness side, the things that I'd like to add next week that I'm going to be adding into my routine is going to be more yoga sessions and more swimming sessions and just really nailing the sleep and you know even doing better on the nutrition. But So, so that's that. On the business side of things, I have uh, my personal training services, I have the weight loss services, I have the I Am Academy, which is a, an academy for those 
wanting to learn how to invest in digital assets or in the cryptocurrency or in the forex world. It's an academy, so, so I'm doing that. And then, let's see. Um, oh, and then I have um, fitness. I have a, I'm networking with, uh, if you're by chance a fitness influencer yourself, and I have a Facebook group on Facebook, obviously. I have a Facebook group on Facebook, imagine that. Facebook group on Facebook that has uh, over 100,000 members, and I'm bringing in moderators. So that's part of my, it's part of my world domination for, for reducing ob obesity. My, just to share this with you, since we're talking, is my goal is to reduce the global obesity. It is currently 30, last year, the globe, in the globe, 38.75% of the globe was obese. So think about that. 38.75. I feel like we can get that under 20%. I believe that's really possible. And that is my mission. That is the mission of my business to reduce global obesity to under 20%. So if you or anyone you know is either 30 pounds overweight or even the 100, if you are so, like, and if you also are self-insured, if you if you are in a business that you're self-insured and you're paying for gonna be paying or are paying for diabetes medication, heart disease medication, blood pressure medication, if you just get your health under control, you can reduce so much cost, and your body, all things considered equal, should last longer, right? So that's my specialty. So if you're in that category, if you're over 30 pounds. Of, by, of weight that you want to lose and you are serious and you, you really want to, you really want to have, make, get it to go and you really want to achieve your goal, that, that's what I do. So please consider reaching out to me. Let's have a conversation about that. So the, the first con consultation is complimentary, of course, so we can get a chance to know each other and I can uncover a lot of what you're doing and I can help you create a game plan for your success. So I'm working on that. Um, I actually have, so I'm just trying to get right now, to, to, I'm going to reflect more on Saturday, but I still feel like I have one more day left and I'm going to make the most of it. So on the business side of things, I just feel like I, I need more people interested in weight loss and I have a, an account with Facebook that I can trigger. I've been testing different ads for, for people looking for that. And so... Um, I think I'm gonna tweak it tonight and test it. So I'm put a test on that for the next 10 days and see what happens. So we can generate more leads. I can get more people to talk to about that. So that's it, basically just a review. So it's about 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time right now. I'm gonna go, uh, have my post-workout meal on the way home with a couple of bananas. And then I'm gonna go home, get ready and probably upload this and have a nice night's sleep tonight. Appreciate you. I wish you the best for your fitness and finance. Remember that health is wealth. Without our health, what do we have, right? We just, if we don't have our health, it um, doesn't matter what all earthly things we have. It's going to be challenging. So health is wealth. This is what I say on the, on the show. Health is wealth. Cash flow is king. So that's what I'm working on in my business and that's what my mentors as uh, taught to me, that cash flow is so important that you have cash flow in your life, right? So, so health is wealth, cash flow is king, cash is queen, and credit is freedom. Think about that. Those are four things. I know it's kind of funky, but ca credit, sorry, health is wealth, cash flow is king, cash is queen, and credit is freedom. It's the slogan. And so we're going to be putting a song to it. But anyway, that's that. We'll be back for a wrap-up. And uh, bye for now.